good afternoon, Jonas. Sorry, I just never I pressed the, the audio buttons and I probably couldn't hear you saying good afternoon to me. So, <laughs> hopefully. Are we live? Uh, we are, we are live, yes. Hello. Um, so professional already. <laughs> I mean, I think all of the best things start with, is this on? Uh, yes, I guess, uh, that's true. What we're doing, uh, for, for those of you who are watching, we are basically um, underselling um, ourselves uh, so that everything you see beyond this point is uh, just going to be absolutely fantastic. I mean, I think we could probably be even worse as hosts, John. What are some yeah. ways we, where we could be worse? Oh, um, we could both uh, ask for the suggestion in the chat <laughs> <laughs> at the same time. That's stupid. Nobody would do that. <laughs> we, could, we could do that. That's yeah. not possible, but that no, <laughs> could happen. Um, also, uh, I'm, I'm very paranoid that the sound isn't working. So if someone out there in the audience could just make sure and let us know that there is noise of some description. That would be helpful for my sanity um, than anything else. It's all I sanity. can confirm myself that it is working. Okay, yes. Well, that's sanity. Or at least I heard you talking. Um, so presumably we're both there. Yeah, presumably we're both are. Um, if, if not, this is, it's, it's, I, I could just have to dub everyone. I guess that would be the other way to do the show. Just one mass dubbing. Uh, just every yeah. single part, every single actor that's about to be on. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm up for the challenge. I could do it. Like it's. I um, believe I believe you could do it. I mean, there's like a huge difference between like what you could do and what you should do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, lovely to see you again, John. You're looking very well. Um, I'm excited about this week. Got two more groups who I have not seen uh, before myself. How about you? No, I I have not seen. I've, I've seen members of them do certain things, um, improv things. I'm clearly clear that now. Um, I've seen. One I mean, just group... to, just to say again, like yeah, there are some things that people do, <laughs> and there are some things that we don't want to repeat that we know that people do. Um, and one group I've seen uh, on their social media, their wonderful posters they do on a regular basis. Oh, where yeah. they replace um, famous film posters with their own post face, and then, then they place uh, a, a particular word in that poster, the word chair. You may guess which group does that, and the two that we're having. <laughs> well, I'll give you a clue. One of the groups is called Broken Chair Improv, and the other group is called A Thousand Ways to Break Your Heart. I, I'm... I'm, I'm not struggling, I'll no. be honest with you. I, I wanted to like play up that you know it was difficult, but you have made it easy to guess. It's very easy, which one does it? <laughs> yeah, thank um, you for always making it an easy and joyful time. Um, so hello world, hello nursery fans of the nursery. Um, uh, as you just had two groups today, um, two more um, 25 to 30 minute um, awesome improv sets uh, for people who have fully embraced the online way of working with improv, which we commend them for. Uh, we click fingers, um, we wave our hands, or we could just clap. We can do all of those things. Uh, there's a bunch of other things I'm sure we can invent. Um, broken Chair Improv, um, uh, they're coming up in the second half. Uh, that's right, we're coming up in the second half. We'll take a short break in the middle. Um, for more uh, of this classic uh, John and Jonah banter that everybody has come to know and hate. Yeah. Um, uh, Broker Chair, they are from Merseyside, um, and uh, all we know is that they are better than the best Merseyside-based pop group to have ever um, have been forced together. Um, <laughs> and uh, and Broker Chair, who are up in just a few moments, will we'll introduce them, tell them to turn their cameras on. Um, they're going to do a beautiful um, story about loss. I was going to pause you there, Jonah, because I love you. You just said Broken Chair again. Uh, as a second second act, so. Well, there was an example of how to be a really bad host, John. And yes, I'm, I'm sorry. You picked up on it. <laughs> Everything I do is intentional, <laughs> except for the fuck ups. Fair enough. Uh, take two. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great, yes, yeah, so just to reiterate again for those of you who haven't seen it in the chat, John and I posted, um, the first group would absolutely love to hear stories of a split or a breakup, either um, and something that you've witnessed or something that you've been through yourself. Um, so that could be, I was thinking mine would be the tragic breakup of a multi-pack of McCoy's Ridged Crisps, because I just want to eat them all myself. Oh, okay. What would your kind of what's the work with the uh, a, a big breakup you've witnessed? Oh, uh, when I had to stop drinking Coca Cola um, because it was 
uh, putting me to sleep, ironically, um, because sugar is bad for me, it turns out. So I had to give it, that was like uh, 1999, the year of the Matrix, um, Coca-Cola and I broke up, so, so you know. It's a sad, sad story. Did you switch to another brand? I mean, we're all dying to hear. And, uh, uh, I, I tried other brands like 7up and Pepsi, other drinks are available. Um, I just went down with tea in the end, because uh, caffeine was fine, it was a sugar that was a problem. So yeah. What? Well, uh, okay. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty tragic that you've had to live through that, and you you're here to tell the tale though. Yes, I am. Um, tw tw oh god, twenty years later. It's that long ago since I stopped drinking. It's a Matrix. God. Anyway. Maybe. Well, there's a new Matrix coming out if, in some point, so maybe you can kind of pick it up again and oh, remind yeah. yourself of we you know when you were young and you had all the hopes and dreams and the world was ahead of you. Uh, which is obviously the opposite to now, where all we've got to look forward to is improv and death. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you haven't given the description yet of A Thousand Ways. I, I, I no. love that description. No. I, do I would love to. Yes. A Thousand Ways to Break Your Heart. Improvised stories of blissful losses, excruciating love and laughter through tears. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, please welcome to turn on their cameras... Thousand ways to break your heart. That was really, really sad. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. But we have to, we have to. You're... Oh, you're serious? Yeah, I'm serious. We... <laughs> we can't keep going on like this. Uh, come on, I'm good for you. I'm like your sugar. I'm, 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 I cheer you up. I, I increase your blood pressure. I, I make your life better. Come on. It, it feels great. Whenever yeah. I got you, but yes, it's not working out. <laughs> and I, I, I found someone. What? <laughs> Whoa. Come on. There is no one better than me. No one, no one is better than the original Coca-Cola. Yeah, but I've been talking to my doctor and... You cannot believe in the traditional medicine. Yeah, I can believe in the traditional medicine. He said, you're going to kill me one day. I might. I might, but you would enjoy this. Beautiful. Beautiful way to go out. Yes. 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 But like I said, I found I found a diet option. No sugar. We are the best together. I'm I've been with you throughout college. I'm with you at every movie movie party. I'm with you at every every date. I'm with you at McDonald's. I'm with you at every fancy restaurant. I'm with you when you're traveling. And I'm with you the first thing you wake up in the morning. You don't need coffee. You can get caffeine with me. But baby. Come on. What diet option? <laughs> don't, Just diet. Might... don't make this harder than it already is. Please. I'm not gonna kill you in the next few years. We could but still go on for a while. But over time, I need to cut it off soon. Otherwise, we will be together forever. And I would love that. But there's oh, so much. I'm more addictive. To live. I'm addictive, right? I'm addictive. Yes. Say it, say it, say it. You're addicted to me. Say it. I'm addicted to you. 
Yes, you cannot quit. And that's why I've got to. You're don't 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 break the don't don't break the bottle. I'm sorry. We, we don't need to. We we don't need we don't need any any harsh measure. No. No. Really. No. I loved you. Oh. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm like a sunshine. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Oh. That was a party. Right. Oh. oh my God. I just got a crazy headache. I'm just trying to remember. Did. Were you kissing Eric? I'm on other things, yes. Okay. What? I just didn't think he was your type. Well, maybe not, but he was available. He he was there, he didn't mind, um, he was very much into it, and I was drunk. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just remembering it. And, oh. Don't, 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 don't I, didn't, I didn't mention anything, I'm sorry. Oh, let's just get a cup of coffee and wake up and let, yeah, tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday, go away. Now you make me feel bad. Now, now you make me feel like I, I, I've done something that I shouldn't have, which is... Don't, don't think about it, don't think about it. <laughs> It's, it's fine. It's fine if you hook up with Eric. That's fine. Fine. If you're not jealous, great. Let's get some coffee, wake up, forget about yesterday. I'm not jealous. That's great. That's great, that's perfect. Do you need sugar in your coffee? Yes, please. Two as usual? Yes. Okay, I am a bit jealous. I'm a bit jealous. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll admit, I'm jealous. Of Eric or of me? Both. Both. You know, I think I'm just a little bit hurt that you didn't invite me. To the kissing party? Yeah, I would love to have kissed you and Eric together. That's very unexpected. Why? Because I, I knew you were into me. I did not know you were into Eric. I thought it was a joke. I was making a joke. I did that to make you jealous. I did not forget it. Forget. Drink your coffee. Drink your coffee. Just, just forget it. I'm so stupid. You didn't think I was into you? 
I did not know how, how to make you say it. Well, I, okay, I'll say it. I'm into you. I'm into you, Sarah. And I'm into Eric, but you know, I know what? You know, I can't be in a relationship with you. I know. I know. It hurts when <laughs> When you want something and you cannot get it, and the only way you can even think about getting it is when you're drunk and reckless, and and even then it doesn't work. This coffee is is feels is as black and bitter as I feel right now. You need to put more sugar in it. You need more sugar in your life, Sarah. You're just looking for, for this, this deep connection and it's beautiful and I would love to have it too, but I can't and I just think your, your expectations are way too high, Sarah. Rich, I thought we had a connection. I thought, anyway, forget, forget, forget I said anything, forget you, so, so me and Eric, forget. We do have a connection, it's just, and I am interested in you, but not like that. Now that the truth is out, we cannot have that connection. Why? We can have some fun. You're interested in me, I'm interested in you. We can call Eric, let's call Eric right now. Because I will always be wanting more and you cannot give it. And then I would, I would hate you and I would hate Eric and everybody who is having fun. And I don't want that. I want you to, to still be happy. I want to move on and possibly forget about you. Even if that means losing our deep connection. I don't want to be shallow friends who, who meet just for the parties. Then... Yeah, I'm crazy like that. Forgetting a friendship. Bye. Bye. Well, I thought that was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, if only we could we could possibly make it slightly slightly maybe to go to advance it a bit faster so once the doctor knows where the the werewolves are hiding the doctor goes there catches the werewolves and cures them i agree we just need to make the process a bit faster Otherwise, the doctor's not going to be able to, to catch them werewolves. Not only to catch them, but also to cure them before, before, yeah. before, before the moon. I also, I find it a bit awkward that we are talking about the cure for werewolves. It feels like we, we are trying to change somebody's identity. Um, I but, don't think I'm comfortable with that, to be honest. That's fine. You don't have to be comfortable about it. You just have to do the job. Do the job. Sure, sure, sure. 
special forces. We 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 take care of the, these problems. Yeah. If you can't handle this, you can handle I, this. I, I'm a, I'm a professional. I, I just I want to raise um, my concerns officially and possibly have them recorded, and then I go and do my job for sure. Noted. Your things are recorded. Making a mental note. Ding, 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 ding. Um, I meant official record as in a record. Yeah, I've got it recorded right here in my mind. You know we... You know we don't help them. We have to get rid of them. And that's your job. That's their identity. They, they cannot change who they are. They must. Otherwise, how will the rest of the people live a normal life? How will they be able to... to accept, accept our differences? Accept that, you know... <laughs> Other cultures exist. <laughs> oh, you know better than anybody that that's not how the world works. I do, and I do appreciate that you keep my secret and let me work at. Uh, <clears throat> And the special forces, but there is a way. There is always another option that does not involve sticking a needle into somebody's neck. Really. I didn't think this was going to be a problem. I really didn't. It hasn't been a problem for the past three years, but the bodies are mounting and people start noticing and asking questions. And I don't have the answers. I had the answers in the beginning. I had all the beautiful propaganda about how we were doing the right thing for the benefit of the humanity, but now I I have a lot of concerns yeah, about bitten. the work of humanity. Just because you've got bitten, you feel for them now? Of course. Of course. You don't feel, how are the urges? No. I understand them better. I understand their language better, for sure. That doesn't make me like them, but I can see how they are the same. You are. Not, not the same. As just becoming you. just like them. I'm going to have to report you. Sanders, I, I worked with you for, for many, many years. You, you know better than suspect me. In, <laughs> And becoming crazy. Um, but the way you're talking, you can't have this. Not in the special forces. You're a good, a good soldier and a good scientist. You found a way to cure. I know how to but. make hard choices. And sometimes hard choices What's that look? Hard choices involve killing your colleagues. It's not what yeah, I meant. That, that pill you had this morning, that wasn't really 
um, a vitamin that was, yeah. You didn't change me. Not yet. How could you? I want you to see the world through a wolf's eyes. I want you to see what it's like to be the other. You with your perfect accent, you with your white hair, you with your soft skin and soft beard. Now you will see what it's like to be a savage. I am not a savage! Are you not? They're savages. And we are meant to protect the world from them. Not join them. Not betray the world. I think the world can live peacefully when werewolves and humans appreciate each other's differences and find a way to appreciate each other's cultures. If that means turning more people into werewolves, so be it. Please don't. Please. Hmm. Well, it's a bright day. It's a sunny day. Oh man, nothing's gonna ruin my day today. I'm right there with you, all the way. Really? Yeah, you're gonna be amazing. Oh, I've been practicing. I've been practicing for the run. I think, I think, I think I'm really going to be able to, to win. I'm going to win the race. Yes. Yay. <laughs> I know you can do it. I know you can. You're the most, the most tenacious and the most passionate runner I've ever worked with. You're, you're amazing. You're going to do this. <sighs> Only with your with your support, Mom. You're amazing, and I love you very, very much. I will be right there, waiting for you at the finish line, and I will prepare your favorite um, chicken noodles for for dinner. It will be amazing. Okay. Do you promise? Yes. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Ross. I'll see you at the finish line, Mom. I'll see you at the finish line. I wish there was a way <laughs> to do it differently. But I still need to cover the mortgage, you understand. So I will support him. I will for sure cook his his favorite chicken noodles. But I'm gonna bet against him. Yeah. Simply because he's not gonna win. And I need the money. We need the money. It's it's for his own good. You understand, don't you?
Mom! Honey. I did it, I won. Yes. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so, so happy for you. Are you proud of me? Of course. You're, you're, you're amazing. Thanks, Mo. <sighs> you're, you're amazing. Why are you crying? Did I do something wrong? No, honey. You're, you're beautiful and smart and you're the most tenacious and passionate runner I've ever seen. I just, I wish I believed in you more. I wish I believed in you for real. What do you mean? Honey, I, remember the money we, we saved for your, for your college? Yeah. <laughs> this was such a, such a big opportunity to, to double that money. Opportunity, opportunity is, is a wrong word as I now understand. And, and I wish I And you bet on me, right? Mom? Did you? Sorry? You didn't. I'm sorry. You didn't, I'm you didn't so think. I'm so, so, so. You didn't think I was gonna win? Mom? And you, all the funds? I don't know, I don't even care about the money, Mom. I know. You said you believed in me? I know. And I should. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Mom. I would have known. Why didn't you tell me? Because I hoped I would have. I would still have the money and it wouldn't matter if you, if you lose. Because Because, because I care about the money, because I care about. No, because I didn't want to see you losing and not having anything. And now you won. And I don't have anything for you. Honey, can you forgive me? I'm sorry. I... I'll do better. I'll, 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 I'll find a way to, to make some, I don't, I don't need to go to college. I can I can still make something of myself without going to college. Like you, like you said, you believe in me. You did believe in me. But I 
I will support you all the way. And this time I mean it. I love you, Mo. <laughs> I really do. And that's our show, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I hope you're, you had your hearts broken in the most delightful way and you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, uh, Jonah and John, for, for hosting, for inviting us. It's been, it's been fun. Thank you guys so much. That was so beautifully performed. Um, is it awesome to see something so, so well crafted and delicate and, and beautiful and funny um, using uh, online improv? Uh, great show. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It was great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I'm but... sure we'll be seeing you guys again soon, hopefully in a future season. Yeah. Um, I mean, John... when Sean banged his turntable, table, I now have Watts all over my floor. <laughs> my Watts went, yeah, that happened. So... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, big up what Jess is saying on Facebook. Yeah, absolutely both uh, of those incredible. Um, uh, we're going to take a very short break. Everybody who's watching at home, literally like one or two minutes just to turn around and give the, the other actor a chance to kind of put on their improv shoes. Um, and then we'll be back straight away. Okay. See you soon.